Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have five products that I am so into right now. These totally caught my attention. They are new launches. So this is all very exciting stuff that if you were on Ulta or Sephora, you might be looking at these new items thinking, I wonder if they're any good. They haven't been out for long, but I have already put these to the test along with so many other new products. There have been a ton of them recently and these have been my favorites. These are like on my desk every morning when I get ready and I'm excited to share them with you, swatch them. Let's get to it and talk about something new from NARS. Now, this is really cool because I actually don't like their liquid concealer. I think I'm the only person on YouTube that's like, it creases on me, it doesn't work for me. I actually uh, tried that one out a few years ago. I think Goss Makeup Artist, who I love, I love him so much, um, he recommended that concealer and I was like, I gotta go to the store, I gotta go buy it and it didn't work for me. But I will say this, makeup is super personal and I have like three friends in my real life, not even other YouTubers that love that concealer. So, you know, take everything that I say that anybody else that makes videos says with a grain of salt and kind of you gotta think about your skin type and what you're looking for in a product. But what I will say is that I've always wanted to love that concealer. It just didn't work for my under eye area, but NARS came out with one that does, and it's this guy right here. This is a gel formulation concealer. They have 15 shades. I have the shade light 2.5, I have light 2.75, and medium one. What I am using on my face today to cover up the hormonal breakout that I've been dealing with this past week that is super frustrating, I use the shade medium one. I used an artiste brush, I kind of pat it, in those areas that I want to cover up. That way I can keep the rest of my foundation really light. I also used the light 2.75 underneath my eye area. I did something completely different and I didn't do the triangle. I didn't highlight with it. This is more the kind of under eye concealer that I'm gonna go ahead and say it is like real everyday life concealer. Like if you aren't doing full Instagram-esque makeup, if you aren't doing full glam and you want something that you can pat underneath the eye that is going to not be overly wet or exaggerate wrinkles, but it's really, really gonna cover, this is a beautiful concealer. I just pat it on with my fingertips. It melts right into the skin. It has a matte finish, but it's not an overly dried matte finish. It's like the perfect natural matte finish and I'm really really into this concealer right now. It is some good stuff. I almost did a complete standalone video on this right here. This is from Milk Makeup. This is their blur stick and a lot of people were like, do a video, do a video just on this. But I started using it right away. So I kind of, you know, couldn't go and do like a first impressions on it. Um, but I will talk about it right here in this video. This is awesome. It's very similar to uh, Benefits Professional or Estee Lauder has a little pore vanishing stick where you can just go on the skin in the areas that you would like to blur. And foundation layers really, really beautifully on top of this. I put it in my T-zone. It just helps everything to look better, wear better. And the convenience of it being in this kind of deodorant style tube where it's like really wide on the top is just so nice because you can kind of just go you know, where you need to go. I have tried this on top of makeup, which they say you can do. I don't like that. I like it underneath makeup only. Otherwise it's a little bit too powdery and chalky, but whereas other pore vanishing sticks like this, or even the pore professional kind of gather and bunch up under the eye area, this one I can actually put underneath here where a little bit of crow's feet might happen. You know, if you're trying to soften up any of those lines right here, this is actually good anywhere on the face to do like a blurring action. So I do really, really love this. I am feeling very much like a toned down glam life guru today. I'm a natural life guru. Like this is a very uh, plain kind of a face for me in the fact that I am not wearing falsies for one. You guys know I'm trying to kind of back off of that just a little bit, but also I just love the effortlessness and the look of using one shadow. So I only used one eyeshadow today. It is all over my lid and it is from a new palette from Kat Von D. 
oh my gosh, you guys, this looks like nothing. Like it looks like a bunch of like white eyeshadow pans, but this is beautiful. Not exactly a brand new concept. Like we've seen these type of lighter shadows that are iridescent that you can layer over darker ones and they really transform. But this palette itself and the quality of the shadows is insane. I feel like this is something I'm going to reach for over and over and over. This is the Alchemist Holographic Palette. You guys know I've turned into quite the little holosexual and I just can't help it. I love everything hollow. And this is a face and eye palette. I don't know that I will be using any of these on my face. They are pretty intense. I am using the shade Pink Opal on my eyes today and that's it. And it actually looks like it's two shades because depending on where the light hits, it really transforms. It's really beautiful. It's not overly powdery. I freaking love this. So you get a green shade that is called Green Emerald, a blue shade that is called Blue Sapphire, a violet shade that is called Ultraviolet Amethyst, and a nice little mirror in here. It's a cute little tiny compact. I love it. I also love triangles. If you didn't know, I love triangles and holographic. So this is like a major win for me and I love it. I'm just gonna take a time out from this video and just smell my chapstick. <laughs> this is the Brazilian Kiss Capu Capacu Lip Butter. What is that? I don't know what it is, but it smells good. Capacu. Kapoyuku. I can't speak today. This is from Sol Janeiro. You guys know I love their body butter, the Bum Bum Cream. I love that so much. I cannot get enough of that fragrance. I have their body wash in my shower right now. I love everything that this company comes out with and I got a sneak peek of this right here and it is so good and you get a lot in here. Do you not love the size of the barrel of this thing? It's like a glue stick. But it's for your lips. Oh, I love it so much. You can put it on top of liquid lipsticks. It's not overly waxy. It's not just like overly wet where it would screw up your liquid lipstick. So if you're feeling like a little bit, mm, things are kind of cracking and dry, you can put something like this on and it will heal the situation. But I've been addicted to this. Like I put this on five times a day and sometimes I just open it up and smell it. That's really weird, but it just has this intoxicating food kind of cocoa vanilla scent to it that is so delicious. It's really, really healed my lips. And you know, I came back from my honeymoon and I had been out in the sunshine and this just kind of brought them back to life because they were so like chapped and dried from that trip. And I swear to you, this is amazing. You will not be disappointed with this. So now that your lips are hydrated and they smell great and the experience is wonderful and you have your Brazilian kiss going strong, you're ready for a liquid lipstick. But whether you use a $5 liquid lipstick, which I talked about on Tuesday, I will link that video below, which I love, or you're going high end, definitely use a balm underneath, wipe a little bit of the excess off and then go into your liquid lip. Now this one right here from Marc Jacobs, I am thoroughly impressed with. This is their Lamarck liquid lipstick. I believe that's the entire name. They have six shades. I have them all right here. This was sent to me about a month and a half ago. I have been wearing these nonstop. This is the only liquid lipstick that I can wear three days in a row and my lips do not die and become shriveled up and angry at me. So this is an amazing liquid lipstick. It's not completely transfer proof. It doesn't dry down completely matte. It's almost matte. I would say like 85% of the way there, but it will transfer a little bit. I'm okay with that because it gives your lips a nice slip. And if you wanna to touch up throughout the day, you can. It's a very unique formula. I really, really love it. The colors are gorgeous and beautiful and as far as a higher end liquid lipstick this is one of my absolute favorites i am so glad that i have these on hand and i have been reaching for them a ton i have the shade hot cocoa i have the shade shush blush i have what i am wearing today which is slow burn which is one of my absolute favorites i also have fawn over me also totally gorgeous and really like a beautiful nude that actually is very flattering sometimes with liquid lipsticks especially when you get too light it can look a little bit weird this one is actually super flattering i have yours to try and then truth or bear so you can see these are all very sophisticated gorgeous beautiful shades i do hope they come out with more i think the whole packaging where you can actually see just a tiny bit of the product through the barrel is really cool it's very much marked 
Marc Jacobs. It feels luxury and I love it so much. I probably talked a little bit more than I needed to just for five items, but I hope you guys enjoyed this format of things that I'm really, really loving right now and letting you know straight away as soon as I decide that it's a hit product and I think this is kind of fun. So let me know below if you enjoy this type of video by giving a comment, a thumbs up, sharing the video. Just let me know that you like it and you want more of it. And also if you missed out on Style Code Live last night, I will link that below. I was on there with a hot product of the week. So be sure to go and check that out as well and i'm hoping you guys are having a great day whatever you are doing have an awesome weekend and i will see you all in my next video Mwah.